Okay, now the next thing we need to do is to complete the setup for the iOS side of things. So this is actually going to follow the same flow. And the first thing, as we all know, is to add our iOS application to our Firebase project. So I'm going to go to Project Overview. Now the next thing we need to do is to go ahead and click on Add App. So it's an iOS app, of course. Now the next thing we need to do will be to provide our bundle ID. So an iOS bundle ID is similar to Android package name. So to be able to find that out, we can return to our Android Studio. So a very direct way of finding what our iOS bundle ID is, is by running our project on Xcode. In that way, we'll be able to see what our bundle ID is. So I'm going to go ahead and click on Review in Finder. So I'm going to open our runner in Xcode. Okay, so this will take a couple of seconds. And bam, so we have Xcode. So this is our bundle identifier, which is exactly what we are looking for. So I'm going to go ahead and copy this. And I'm going to paste it here inside of Firebase. And I'm going to click on Register App. Alright, now the next thing we need to do is to download Google Services info.plist and we should also keep in mind where we're supposed to keep this under my applications folder. So I'm going to go ahead and download this. Alright, so this has been downloaded. So I'm going to find the file which is this. So I'm going to go ahead and use Ctrl C to copy it. So I'm going to return to Android Studio. So this is our application folder. So to confirm where we are supposed to put this, I'm going to pull up our Firebase once more. So as you can see, these are iOS projects and this is supposed to be the runner folder. So we should have our iOS application, then my application folder. That's where we are supposed to put the file. So this is supposed to be the runner folder in our own case. So I'm going to pull up Android Studio and I'm going to paste our Google services.json inside of the runner folder. So I'm going to go ahead and click OK. All right. Now there's one more thing that we need to do and we need to do that in Xcode. So what I'm going to do will be to um, go to Xcode. I'm going to click on add files to runner. All right. So inside of the runner folder, I can look for the Google services.json. Google services info appeal is rather so I'm going to select this file and I'm going to click on add. All right, so this is basically all that we need to do. So I can now go ahead and close up the S code. And we can now return to Firebase and continue with the setup. All right, now we're gonna go ahead and click on nest. So we don't really need to do anything here. So we're gonna click on nest and nest and continue to console. So as you can see, we successfully added our iOS app to our Firebase project. Now the next thing we need to do will be to return to our Android Studio. So we are going to go into our main.dat and what we need to do here will be to replace um, these values here with the ones in our Google services.plist. So what I want to do will be to open up our Google services.plist. Alright, now the first thing first is that we're going to get our API key. You can see that here. So I'm going to go ahead and paste it here. Mm. All right, so we don't need our API key. So the first thing will be to copy our database URL. It's going to be the same thing for both of them. All right, now the next thing we need to do will be to get the GCM sender ID. We can find it inside the Google services info.plist file. So this is GCM sender ID. So I'm going to go ahead and copy this and I'm going to paste it inside our main.dart. And the next thing we need to copy will be the Google App ID. You can find it here as well. So this is the Google App ID. So I'm going to go ahead and copy this. All right. And paste this here. Bam. So this is supposed to be all for iOS. Now to verify our setup for iOS, I'm going to go ahead and run our app on an iOS simulator. So I'm actually using an iPhone 11 Pro simulator, which is this. So I'm going to go ahead and click on play to deploy to it. So this is supposed to take a couple of seconds, at most few minutes. 
All right, so it seems our build is complete. So let's confirm that this will install successfully. Come on, come on, come on. And bam, our app is up and running. So to verify that our implementation is working properly, I'm going to navigate to our Firebase database and I'm going to go ahead and delete the data that we have inside before. So I'm going to delete this. So the intent is to confirm that um, the connection between our iOS app and our Firebase database is successful. So when I click on this, I expect it to write is connected to our database. And bam! So congratulations guys, we've successfully been able to connect our Android and iOS app to our Firebase database. So in the upcoming lessons, we're going to be designing our login pages and working with Firebase authentication as well. So this will be all for now. See you in the next class.